Hi everyone, hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. So today's Vlogmas video is going to be what's in my kids Christmas Eve. They're kind of like buckets this year. It was more like basket things last year, but this year it's more like buckets. So in their Christmas Eve buckets and also in their stockings. So we'll start with Isla's one. I picked up these from TK Maxx. I think they were only a couple pounds, something like that. And they're just a really lovely size. Not too big, not too small. First up in Isla's Christmas Eve bucket thing is a pair of jammies. So I picked up these. There's matching ones for Lacken as well from the White Company outlet that we have across the road. So they're a really good price. A lot cheaper than what the White Company usually is. But I just really love them. I really love the print on them. And yeah, they didn't have her size. Size, so I had to go a size up so they're a bit big but uh we can just roll them up and she'll go into them next year. Next up is this Ben and Holly Christmas book. She's obsessed with Ben and Holly just now so I thought a Ben and Holly Christmas book would be quite well received. I also thought this Christmas activities book could be really good as well. She actually has a couple of these just normally where you've got the pen and you can write in it and that and wipe off and she really loves them so this Christmas one I think will be really good too. Just some really fun things for us to sit together and do before the big man arrives. Some Christmas stickers because she loves stickers and you can't go wrong with stickers I picked these up from Poundland so nice and cheap this little Christmas activity set thing came from Poundland as well and it's where you can make your own festive glasses so that'll be quite fun to I thought I'd pop in one small toy for her too so this is just a little Ben and Holly set that I got on Amazon Amazon Prime was my savior this Christmas and lastly a couple little treats so it's a little milky bar polar bear and some I think they're penguins and snowball chocolate treats Auntie Lachlan's one it's the same kind of bucket but it's got Christmas trees on it instead of candy canes his one's a lot more empty than Isla's he's just so little he doesn't need or want anything first up I got home this busy nativity book and it's basically one that's just a bit more interactive and it has nice bright pictures so quite good for his age matching pair of jammies just like Isla's ones I mentioned before some bath toys because he is loving bath time just now and he is obsessed with balls so I thought these munching them ones I think I just picked up from Asda were super cute and they'll be lots of fun then lastly a couple snacks for him it's quite hard because obviously he's a baby and also he's dairy free so I have to be really careful with what I give him so this was the last dairy free chocolate penguin in Tesco they've literally all their dairy free treats had sold out. I was like, oh no. And then some of these kiddie-licious smoothie melts because he really likes them. Onto their stocking slash Santa sack things. So I think my mum does already have my stockings up in Aberdeen, but I was a bit worried that I've lost them. So I picked up these cheapy ones from Poundland. I think they weren't a pound, they were a pound 49 or something like that. But first we'll look at Isla's. So we have a selection box. You can't have a Christmas stocking without a selection box. And then some Milky Bar buttons. She's obsessed with Spider-Man at the moment. So there's quite a few Spider-Man themed things. So bear with me. There was this straw that I got on Amazon Prime. This figure that I picked up in TK Maxx that should have been £14 something. But it was only... 4 I think. And his arms lift up and light up, so I'm sure she'll love that. <laughs> this Spider-Man flask that I also picked up from TK Maxx, I think it was 4 as well. I might be wrong. Some slippers from the Jewels outlet across from us, they were down to 9.95 and then they had 20% off as well, so they're an absolute bargain. They're so cozy, they're like fleecy and then with a sort of sole on the bottom that she can pad around in a boot. This is Tom Fletcher's There's a Monster in My Book and I've been meaning to get her this for ages so it was a perfect excuse. A little Barbie toy thing because she is still into princesses as well as being obsessed with Spider-Man and I think I got that in the pound shop so that was pound. This play phone that I'm really excited about her playing with because it looks like so much fun. I don't know if you can see all the picture there but actually it'll be better showing you that one. Look how big it gets. Oh, I think I could have so much fun playing with this. I got it on Amazon for, I think it was under a fiver. And lastly, a pair of jammies that she spotted when we were in Gap and absolutely loved. So I secretly went back and got, and I got a blue matching pair for Lachlan. It's like sort of that flannel style pajamas, but in fleecy and Disney little mini mouse ears on it. And they were supposed to be 19.95, which is extortionate, but because it was over in the outlet bit, um, it was, I think they were down to 11 pounds something. And again, it, they were running this 20% off thing. So it went to under a tenner. Happy days. Now let's have a look at Lachlan's. First up is just a little tykes toy that I picked up in Asda for two pounds, I think it was. He's really into like moving things along the floor and stuff like that now. So I think he'll love this. And then a cute little bath star thing. It's really hard to get stocking fillers for one-year-olds because you don't want to buy them just rubbish but then they're too young for a lot of stocking filler things. I think he was a pound or two pounds from Asda. A couple of books because we're really getting into reading to him now. First one is a Guess What Animal Opposites book and it's a really good sort of lift the flap and interact book. Got it in TK Maxx for two ninety nine, And then this super cute book called A Book of Sleep, which will hopefully encourage him to sleep better. Although he is sleeping a lot better these days compared to what he used to. But it's just a really lovely story that I've heard before, but I've never actually had the book, so I thought I'd get it for him. And I got it off Amazon, I think, for 
for three pounds, something like that. Then I picked up this fun toy in Tesco. It literally just caught my eye in the baby aisle and I was like, oh, that'd be really good. It clips onto a stroller and then it's all these cards that are black and white, so really eye-catching for them. And then lots of different animals and things like that on them. I think it was five pounds. Then a pair of jammies to match Isla's ones, but in navy blue. And then for his snacks, he's got some more smoothie melts and a bar of white dairy-free chocolate. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed seeing what was in my kids' Christmas Eve boxes and then also what was in their stockings. But hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.